his stolen parts again? How am I going to track down this crook? Oh, it's you! There have been a few unusual thefts in the dwelling over the past few days. The vagrants say that the parts they worked so hard to obtain have completely vanished. They're worried that there's a thief in the dwelling. Despite our investigations, no one has been able to track down the thief. What's even stranger is that the thief appears to be only interested in stealing parts and doesn't care about other valuable items. The vagrants had no choice but to ask Mr. Svarok to look into it, but he still hasn't found anything. I investigated the matter myself, but I came up empty-handed. Jeez. I'm baffled. What a strange thief. Are you also here to look into this case? Perhaps if we work together, we can uncover some clues that I missed. It's just... I haven't found enough clues yet. The thief is really tricky. They haven't left any traces in the dwelling. Oh, I heard the vagrants on patrol last night ran across the thief again, but I haven't had time to look into it. Should we go ask them? You sound so cool. You're like one of the characters from Mr. Svarog's movies. Aren't they called... detectives? Seeing you so fired up has me excited too. Now, let's get started. who stole the parts last night. Can you tell us what happened? Ah, who, who's there? Oh, Clara, it's you. I thought it was... You scared the living daylights out of me. I, I did see the thief last night, but who is this person next to you? Oh, Wildfire has sent someone. That's fantastic. Oh, hold on. I'll explain what happened last night. Just let me gather my thoughts first. Oh, okay. So, last night I was on patrol when I bumped into the thief stealing the parts. Then, then I, I just... Goodness! Okay, I'll explain slowly. I was cold and hungry while on patrol last night, so I decided to return to the dwelling and heat up some leftover canned food for a snack. But when I entered the tent, the thief's silhouette scurried across my vision. I couldn't see the thief's face because the tent was so dark, but I could tell he wasn't a nice guy. <laughs> because when he turned to flee, he swung a knife right across my face. In that moment, I really thought I was going to... Die! I could feel the blades chill on my cheeks and smell its rusty scent. The weapon that fella had was definitely a metal one. That's the only thing I'm certain of. Also, I saw the outline of him in the dark. The fella's head was absolutely square. Yes, you heard me, square. Can you believe that? Someone with a square head? It was truly terrifying! Oh, you're right! I see. I'll jot it down. Sir, please take a deep breath. So, the thief was armed with a metal weapon and had a... um... square head. Correct? Yes! That's correct! Hmm... I'm struggling to make sense of these clues. Do you have any thoughts? How can you just accuse me like that? I was terrified! How could I be an accomplice? <laughs> I'm sorry. She was just joking. Please don't take her seriously. Ah, yes, I remember something. 
While the culprit was hurrying to escape, he knocked something over. He may have left some clues or something. This is a crucial clue. Let's go investigate the crime scene together. I think he ran that way. No one has touched the crime scene, so any traces he left behind should still be there. Please, catch the thief for us. Take a look at these marks. These are very suspicious. Uh, could they have been left by the culprit? They point in that direction. Let's go take a look. They don't appear to have been left by a human. The tracks stop here. I guess we'll have to look around for other clues. This is where the mechanical waste is disposed of, though. Could it be... being too loud. If the culprit is nearby, he'll just run away. Let's split up. Wait, what's that noise? It's a tiny robot? Is it searching for something? But I don't remember Mr. Svarog issuing an order like this recently. It looks like it's carrying the vagrant's missing parts, and those tracks and metal scratches we noticed earlier. Yes, this robot model probably doesn't have any kind of metal weapon. This small robot doesn't appear to be a Bellobob creation. It looks like it's been welded together from random scrap metal materials. Oh, huh. it appears to have a small mechanical arm. Ah, it's noticed us. I, human, injured, no, hurt, please don't. I, I don't understand what it's saying, but it doesn't appear to be trying to flee or attack us. It appears to be trying to say something. I... Human... Please... Don't hurt. Is it trying to say... Please don't hurt me, humans? Human... Parts... Rivets... Need... Repair... Need... Town parts... Need... 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 Hurt... Don't. It appears to have a malfunction, but I think I can understand it. It seems that it needs these parts, and it's begging us not to hurt it. I... I've never seen a robot with this kind of malfunction before. What happened to it? Although the small robot appears to want to communicate, its speech is all scrambled. Perhaps there's an issue with its language module. This little guy probably can't understand what we're saying either. Run! Escape! Open! Fire! Workshop! Chase! Don't! Uh, it's running away! No, we can't let it escape! It still has the Vagrant's parts! What should we do? We gotta stop it! But please don't be too rough on it. I'll figure out a way to repair it later. Hurt, pain, no hurt, don't, pain, suffer, sorry, hurt, sorry, what a headache. No manners, huh? Sorry, hurt, suffer, pain, no, pain, sorry, so, re, pain, hurt, sorry, suffer. 
suffer. Sorry, sorry, pain. Sorry, ouch, pain. Sorry. Why? Sorry, pain. Suffer. Sorry. It seems to have stopped working. Was it begging for mercy? I'm not sure what happened either. I feel bad about this. I guess we should return this little fella and the parts. I think I can... I'll repair it. And if I can't, I'll ask Mr. Sparrow for help. He always knows what to do. Initiating assessment of the robot's condition. Please wait, Clara. While Mr. Svarog is assessing this little fella, let's give it a quick checkup ourselves. Hmm? This paint job and these custom parts, and the way the parts are attached, it's all quite strange. But one thing is for certain. This little fella is not under remote control. He's operating entirely of his own accord. Its design is, well, unique. I've never seen a robot with a design like this before. It really seems like something that was thrown together rather quickly. Its creator most likely didn't consider whether the system would function properly or not. Is it a failed robot pet creation that has been abandoned? But if it's a pet, then... Why would it gather parts itself? I've heard that some vagrants in the dwelling keep the little robots they find as pets. Some vagrants also make modifications to their pets, which they call pet upgrades. Pets like that are pretty rare, but some of the folks who have them have formed a small community to share ideas. Some are interested in nurturing robots, others force them into battle. If my memory serves me right, the parts this little fella stole were originally designed for that kind of pet upgrade. That's not the word I'd use. I guess most people only see robots as tools. I'll try not to hold it against you. Um, I'm sorry. I just suddenly felt some strong emotions. Let's get back to work on repairing the small robot. This Jack's placement is... odd. The chip is buried deep inside. If you don't look closely enough, you won't even find it. Assessment of the robot's condition is complete. The shell damage is estimated to be 98.2%. The assessment concludes that a total recovery is impossible. It is recommended that the robot's external shell be removed and replaced while keeping the outer circuitry and related transmission devices. You can always rely on Mr. Svarag to come up with a brilliant idea. So, I guess we'll have to go find a new robot shell to fix it, right? Hmm... I'm not sure if anyone sells this kind of thing. However, there must be some robot shells lying around the machine graveyard. Everyone calls it a graveyard, but there are actually lots of useful parts buried there. I'm gonna return the parts to the vagrants first, then I'll check on the little fella. Can I trust you to find a shell in the machine graveyard, big sister? <laughs> really? You could have what it takes to be a prospector. Then, I'll entrust this task to you, big sister. Look for Toby at the front entrance. His appearance is... crude. But he's the robot most familiar with the machine graveyard. Just follow Toby. Hello, guests of Miss Clara. Please do as you wish. It's my honor to serve you. 
Miss Clara has assigned me the task of planning your sightseeing route in the machine graveyard. I will guide you down the path. Would you like to engage in super speed mode? If so, please confirm by spinning counterclockwise ten times, then clockwise by 270 degrees. We have arrived at our first destination. This model is known as the Dire Wolf and was scrapped after it sustained piercing damage during a battle with another robot pet, which caused the chainsaw's fuel tank to burst. Robot pet battles sound a little frightening. The inside of the armor is a total mess due to being melted by the heat. Unfortunately, it appears to be useless. We are on our way to the second destination. Please take a seat, buckle up, and hold tight. Caution! You have exceeded the speed limit. Please obey Bellabog traffic laws. On the road, safety is the top priority. We have arrived at our second destination. This module is called the Beetle, which is the same as mine. This machine was scrapped because it accelerated erratically for 7.1 kilometers after it incorrectly interpreted a command, causing the engine to catch fire and the core module to melt down. That is such an odd reason to be scrapped. However, the shell appears to be in good condition, so I'll bring it with me. Your trip has concluded. Please keep an eye out for vehicles approaching from the back or sides, as well as enemies and automatons. Your trip has concluded! I appreciate you putting... ...your trust in Toby. A five-star review for this trip has been automatically generated for you. You're welcome. Clara. It's time for a break. You shouldn't repair machines when you have negative emotions. It's bad for your physical and mental health. Don't worry, Mr. Svarag. I'm fine. Oh, you're back already. How did it go? Did Toby help you find a shell? This shell... Hmm... It doesn't appear to be the same design as this little fella's, but it shouldn't matter. The structures of these small robots are nearly identical. Thank you for bringing this to me. I finished extracting that chip from the small robot. Now, all that's left to do is move all this circuitry into the new shell. Although its appearance has changed a lot, I think we did a good job. Hmm... But what I just did... Is it any different from those pet upgrades that the Vagrants perform? Not compatible. Incompatible? Huh? It's making a strange sound. Incompatible. In... Wh what's going on? Is it malfunctioning? Incompatible. In... Com... Incompatible. In... Compatible. Incompatible. 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 Risk level high. Clara, get away now. Big sister, watch out! It's out of control! Who's next? Huh? Terminate. Terminate. You. That was close. Fortunately, Mr. Svarag and Big Sister acted fast. Why did the little fella... Was there a compatibility issue? Troubleshooting. Assessment. The system on the chip and the new hardware are incompatible, causing the robot to behave erratically. The current issue has been resolved. Risk level low. Alert lifted. It appears to have adjusted to its new shell after the battle. That's great, but... I'd like to keep a closer eye on it for a while. Compatibility tests should take a few days. 
Hopefully, it'll be all back to normal by then. I'm also curious about where this little fella came from. Could you please come back later, big sister? I need to look into something. I may require your assistance. Thank you, big sister. I'll text you when this little fella is fixed. Mr. Sparog, I'd like to give this little fella a name. Any ideas for a good name? Accessing name database. Search results. Abby. Abigail. Ada. Addison. I should come back to Clara later. ordained by those stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Naughty child. Nap time. I'm on guard. Ha! I'll free you from your chance. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. What a headache.
great. Who <laughs> invited? What a headache. Yeah. Oh my god, let's see. Everything is ordained. Oh stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Lance a blaze. Lance power. I'll free you from disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. <laughs> 